Greetings, guys. My name is Andy Anderson, and I am excited. I may not look excited, but I am. I get to do something. I get to introduce to you what I consider to be the most powerful image editing program on the entire planet, Adobe Photoshop, 20 years in the making, CS6. This really is an amazing program. Now, let me make some assumptions, or maybe not make some assumptions. Number one, I've been using the program for 20 years. I can't assume you've been using the program for 20 years. You may have been using it for a few years, but it is quite possible that this is your first experience with Photoshop and it's beginning with CS6. So we are going to hit essentials in this program, but understand something. Adobe Photoshop 6 is a major upgrade. There are over 65 new and or improved features within this program. Now check this out. Look at the interface to this program. The interface to this program is completely different. You say, oh, well, they changed my interface and I don't like them anymore. Adobe is doing something here. They're not doing this to make us angry. You know, you get comfortable with one thing and then they seem to change it. What they're doing is they're beginning a standardization process throughout all the programs using feature sets that are similar. For example, you might not, just like I don't, use just Photoshop. I use Illustrator, I use InDesign, I use a lot of programs. But if I can create a feature set in Photoshop and then go into InDesign and Illustrator and see those same features, it's going to make me more efficient and that's the name of the game. Photoshop is an amazing program, but if you don't know how to use it, if it's complicated to use, it's not going to get used very much. Or when you use it, you're going to be so frustrated, you're not going to be creative. And the worst thing you can do to your creativity is be frustrated over something that you don't think you can do. Now look at some of these filters. Let me go ahead and get out of the way here. We have a new filter called Adaptive Wide Angle. We have one called Oil Painting. This is kind of an interesting one if you want to delve into it. Basically what it allows you to do is it allows you to take a photograph and begin making it look more like it's a painting. Kind of an interesting feature. We have iris blur. Another feature that I think is kind of cool is called tilt shift, which basically allows you to do indiscriminate focusing and shifting of the image in very almost photographic ways, as if you were still behind the camera. Another option that's kind of neat here is browse filters online which actually gives you access to a lot of different filters based on what's going on in the world today. You can get them, you can add them in. Let's bottom line this, what do you say? Why are we here? Well, we're here because we wanna learn Adobe Photoshop CS6. But why? Because they came up with a new version. Why did they do that? What was wrong with the old one? New versions evolve and come onto the scene because new technologies become available that make our lives easier. The goal of Adobe, in my opinion, is to reduce complexity and at the same time increase creativity. And they do that by standardization. There's a lot of things going on in this program that do one specific thing, increase our creativity. That's why we are here. And that's what we are going to learn in this lesson series. We're going to learn how to be creative by what? Controlling this program. So I'm about ready to start. What about you?